Mario 64 has been reverse engineered and is being ported natively to Windows and Linux. A playable version has been leaked online. This isn't a final build, but it's very playable. A big Nintendo leak has also happened recently. I have no concrete information about it, but the amount of data is rumored to be about 2 terabytes, although only a few gigabytes has been released so far. This has nothing to do with the Mario 64 leak. It has been in development for years now. Since the source code has also been released, it opens up a lot of possibilities. The game can be easily modified and ported to other platforms, and people are doing that already. For example, you can check out the wireframes of the game. Some people have gotten Super Mario 64 to run naturally on Raspberry Pi, and someone has already made a version with a little different Goombas. In this video I will play the Windows port with keyboard and with controller, and compare it with a version running in emulator. If you want to skip to a specific part, timestamps are in the description. Alright, so I have acquired the Super Mario 64 PC native hey, port. Mario. And you launch it, it I opens know. in a window. There are two files, one is the sale file, and the other one is configuration. That means you can configure which button is which, but you need to know which number corresponds to each keyboard button. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. I will play one stage with keyboard and one stage with the controller. Let's start over here. Yes, yeah, you can see the load times are extremely quick. I'm not good at this part. So let's try to make it good. And this is how it plays with a keyboard. Now let's try with the controller. 
I haven't configured it or anything, it's just a standard Xbox One controller I have plugged into my PC. But it works great out of the box. The controls are what you would expect them to be. The left stick is moving, right stick is camera, you can jump and punch with A and X. Grand stamp with the left trigger. Save and continue. I forgot to press the A button. <laughs> Mamma mia, pizzeria! The cool part about playing with the controller, when you need to walk slowly, you just push the analog stick slightly and Mario walks. Couldn't do that with the keyboard. Poor Mario, get hurt again. Now I wonder if we will take two grand stamps or only one. One. Two. No, it starts from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, this poor folks just try it with the controller. Actually, I will much rather prefer to play it with the controller than with the keyboard. Here we go! Here we go! Alright, now let's try compare how it plays in an emulator. Alright, I'm playing using Project 64 emulator. I already played a bit previously, so let's just create a new save file.
Mm, yeah, right off the bat, the default controller settings are a bit different, but you can always configure it. And the Xbox controller doesn't work from Windbox, you know how to configure it. That's not a big deal. Mostly different sort of native port is a little there's a little bit lower loading times and widescreen support looks a bit better. That's about it. it. Just simply runs a little bit more smoothly. And it's easier to customize it. Alright, and this is how it plays on an emulator. Mm -hmm. 